hey guys so in today's video i'm gonna show you how to trace like a pro now i'm not saying you should trace and i'm not suggesting or advising you to do so and i'm just gonna show you the smart way of doing it in the wrong way of doing it and uh, yeah a lot of people say that tracing us is not good if you're an artist you should know how to draw without tracing and that is true but uh, tracing is kind of you know helpful when you're dealing with a client and you want to get things done quickly and you don't really have much time in your hands or you're a beginner and you just want to practice things so it is perfectly fine if you're doing it for practice as a beginner and as a beginner I did trace a lot of things a lot of paintings and I admit that without any shame but now that I've learned how to really draw a face or anything for that matter I don't really use it but now I'm going to show you how to trace like a pro so without any further ado let's just get started okay for the sake of this video I'm using this model's picture so if by any means you know her name you can just um, tell me in the comment section down below so you want to have the picture ready with you now it can be anything it can be a portrait or any other thing that you want to draw now once you have that what I do is I basically choose a dark brown color or a dark brown color which is um, on the maroonish side if that makes any sense like this one especially if I'm drawing any portrait I try to keep the color um, on the brownish maroonish side and not completely black so that's what you want to do first so that's just a quick tip right there and then you want to create a new layer obviously and you want to make sure you're just decreasing the opacity of the picture you're tracing on so that's what I'm gonna do right here and I think this much is completely fine and on this new layer i'm just gonna start doing the rough sketch now yeah so first i'm just gonna show you the wrong way of tracing now the wrong way of tracing would be to copy the exact same thing okay so the wrong way of tracing is to copy exactly what you have in the picture and just go along with all the lines the picture has like this this is, um, I'm, I'm not saying this is like a wrong or horrible thing you're doing. I'm just saying this is not right and this is not really um, make, helping you grow as an artist. And when I said that you should, uh, you know, you can do a little bit of tracing as a beginner, um, I did not really mean with, uh, mean copying everything you have in the picture because it is not really helping you to grow as an artist so what i suggest doing is so as you know this is the wrong way of doing just going ahead with all the lines so what you basically want to do is you want to use this picture as a guide or maybe as guidelines for the portrait that you are painting or anything for that matter so what i'm gonna do is i'm just gonna roughly sketch um a rough sketch for a face like this really lightly just to know where the face is gonna be and everything and I'm just gonna use her eyes as guides for where the eyes should be so if I'm a beginner and I don't know anything about painting a portrait I'll do that and I'll just draw a line like this a line like that and a line like this and a line right in the middle now this is completely optional you really don't have to do this um, when you're like tracing you don't really have to do this but I suggest doing this because you want to incorporate your own art style while you're tracing now once you have that you can just start with the facial features so how I'm how to do this I just keep this rough sketch in one layer and then I just go ahead and create another layer like that and i'm just gonna decrease the opacity of it now again this was not needed at all but i would suggest you to do this so that you know how a facial structure is built or how a face is built now that i have another layer i'm just gonna start drawing the eyes and i'm not just gonna go over everything that i see on the picture so let me just show you what i meant by that
So as you can see, I'm going bigger on the eyes because that's how my art style go. And I'm just changing the features and not really, you know, just changing the features, not doing anything chromatic. And the photo right underneath these lines are just guiding me. And I would do the same thing right on the other side as well. But before, I'm just going to draw the nose the way I do it. The, in my style, obviously, not just going along with all the lines that the picture has. like that so I am actually being really rough uh, with it right now just to teach you guys is to show you guys how it really works and also for the lips I am just gonna go ahead with the style that I like like that and for the face, I would just go back where I built the rough sketch for it. And I'm just going to add more um, details here and there. Not details, but actually guidelines that are going to help me build the face. So I'm doing that. And yeah, you can use the symmetry um, drawing guide if you want the symmetrical facial features. And that's what I usually do with my portrait paintings. But for now, just to show you guys, I'm just going to do one side and going to draw the facial structure that I like. And as you can see, I'm not really going in with the facial structure of the picture, if that makes any sense. Now what I'm going to do is... Uh, also for as you can see the face is small comparatively um, if you compare it to the face in the picture it is small so we might want to consider you know decreasing the size of the neck as well but going along with that line I'm just as you can see I'm just drawing her neck way way behind and everything is going to go that way only. So if I were to draw the other side as well, I would go uh, way behind for the neck as well. So what I'm going to do now is I'm just going to go ahead and trace it in my style and just going to show you the finished results. Okay, so as you guys can see right here, I went in and I drew the whole face facial structure and i'm just going to show you how it is looking right now without the picture now it still needs some retouching um, with the whole face as you can tell but it still did turn out well and it is not actually really looking exactly same as the picture which was our aim and i'm just going to show you the picture quickly now it is going to resonate a little bit obviously because you have used the picture as a reference not even as a reference but to cheat but still um, if you incorporate your own art style in it as i told you the way i told you then you are going to get some really good results for so as a beginner you can completely you know do this to practice only and you have to practice the way I showed you guys in this video and not exactly copying each and every picture you see on the internet so that's how you uh, trace like a pro so you might use this tracing technique to deal with a client or if you're a beginner you can do that to, for practice and from my experience I actually learned a lot of things by doing so and I do not know about other artists uh, but yeah i did learn a lot of things doing so because i'm a self-taught artist that is why i had to teach myself you know how to do things how facial structure works and i'm into portrait painting so i had to teach myself how to do that so um, i'm uh, not at all guilty using this tracing method but yeah that is the quick little video and mind you i do not use this technique anymore and 
I, you know, taught myself how to draw a portrait without having to use those tracing techniques. So that's quite, quite an achievement in itself. So yeah. So if you enjoyed this video, please uh, give this video a big thumbs up and also subscribe to my channel. I post every Monday and Thursday and yeah, just support my channel and I will see you guys the next time.